food is beautiful. It's delicious. Okoye, it has been an amazing food. More to come. Hello, family. We appreciate you for coming back to our channel. Kindly stay with us till the end of this video. Enjoy. Happy birthday, Papa! <laughs> Grandpa begins to harvest the cassava for our fufu. Our boy and girls are seen along the path with grandpa bringing in all the necessary materials for today's recipe. We so much love grandpa for his selfless hardworking spirit impacting to our young ones. Happy 70th birthday to you grandpa. Grandpa arranged the firewoods into the wooden stove. We also welcome you to another day here on Cook with Regina YouTube channel. Today, we are going to celebrate Grandpa at 70 with a special surprise mouth-watering delicious fufu and lye soup recipe in our village. Our girls fetch water into the calabash. Wash the plantain leaf and introduce our ingredients. We have chicken, mackerel, meat, gizzard, wille, some tomatoes, garden eggs, onions, pepper, garlic and ginger, and natural spices. Our boy leads our visitors as happy as they are to be part of us today and brings in a rabbit. We light up the fire. Friends and family troop in to greet grandpa and he is so happy to see them. It's all joy to have fun together. We had some few YouTubers, friends and family who passed through to put a smile on grandpa's face. Before we kick start, I would like you to subscribe if you haven't done that yet to join our family and get instant notifications on all our postings. We wash the pot and begin to wash our chicken very well. We transfer the washed chicken into the pot. Our girls bring in the cassava to one of our guests to start peeling. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments if you like what you are seeing. Thank you all. Put the tomatoes, garden eggs, onions, pepper and turkey berries into a pot containing water on fire and cover to boil.
begin to grind the pepper, garlic and ginger. Then put charcoal into a cold pot and put the pot containing the chicken onto it. The rabbit plays around. And we begin to prepare it for meat. We keep grinding the garlic and ginger, add to the chicken and meat on fire. Our boy brings in the plantain. This is the grinding process of the garlic and ginger for the rabbit meat. Our guests are waiting patiently. Add salt to the meat on fire, wash the woody spatula and begin to stir. Check the ingredients on the fire and it's boiling beautifully. Take it off the fire, wash the pan, put it on the fire and pour water into it.
begin to grind the ingredients in an earthenware bowl. Check the meat and stir. Wash the cassava very well. Continue to grind the ingredients and sieve it. Take off the cover from the meat and sieve the ingredients onto it. Stay. Add tomato paste and continue to stay. Put the cassava into hot water on fire. Add the plantain, pour water onto it, add salt and cover with the plantain leaf and a pan. The soup begins to boil beautifully. Stir, add salt and cover to boil. Our visitors enjoy fresh village palm wine and wait for the fufu. We check the cassava on fire. The soup continues to boil. We take up the cassava from the fire. Drain the water from it and begin to pound. 
We start by pounding the plantain first. Take the soup off the fire and continue to pound the fufu. Our guest joins in the pounding of the fufu and it's so beautiful to come together as one people. This is the birthday fufu pounding process of our grandpa. We enjoy the company of everyone watching us right now. Thank you so much for the love you always show to us. Kindly leave your birthday wishes to Grandpa and we will sure make it known to him. <laughs> we love you. Keep watching and stay connected with us as one family.
we serve the first set of the fufu into an earthenware bowl and continue pounding. Everyone participates in the fufu pounding and this makes it more beautiful to watch. We hope you enjoy this special birthday session today. Kindly leave your comments for more. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's about to go down. Oh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't be for you. I would be. Bravo, baby! Bravo, baby! Nubo! Quite a lot! Our fufu is now ready for serving. We bring both fufu and soup onto the table for serving. We begin to serve the soup. This looks so yummy and delicious. We can't take our eyes off the serving. This is This is real Ghana fufu and lice soup. I bet you would love to try this. Everyone is in anticipation to try this food. So yummy. Food is now ready for consumption.
consumption process begins. Eating together brings togetherness as we always say, we are happy to come together as one people. The rabbit meat is added to the food and everyone enjoys it. It's all about Grandpa's birthday celebration. We wish Grandpa a long life in good health to continue supporting us in all aspects of life. This is what they have to say about our food after enjoying it. What's up? Right here on Cook with Regina, Charlie. Uh, personally, I've been watching this channel on YouTube. I've been following. I mean, I love the whole Afrocentric vibe. The kids, 
so I decided to come around with my friends you know basically to watch from top to finish from charcoal to food in the Asanka awesome works the kids are doing including Regina I salute you the food is beautiful it's delicious fufu with light soup yeah and um, fish fish look like anything that particular fish salmon salmon, salmon. salmon. then we have uh, uh, rabbits rabbit. I wanted to mention the rabbits last because on any main character no. uh, okay. and we have um, chicken, chicken. chicken. Willie Charlie it really they go on right now uh, I'm being controlled by food now this is made in Ghana made in what Ghana Charlie what's it there round two or now uh, round, two. round two Ghana Jollof Ghana Jollof I repeat Ghana Jollof be what the jaw loves My... yo this is your guy Samuel de Grafter Mwako the co-founder or the founder of Uncuts Africa Live on YouTube today we decided to visit our brother today is a special day so we decided to visit him and taste some of his beautiful delicacies that he has been preparing on his channel we have been missing a lot so and every week he has been uh, producing some great content concerning African food and you know on my channel on Cat Africa Live we only promote Pan-Africanism and African food so today we decided to visit here to taste Ghana fufu and Ghana jollof it has been an amazing food very tasty so I'm telling you keep subscribing to his channel so that he can bring us a lot of content and a lot of food from all corners of Africa thank you today is another amazing day uh, my name is Big Dennis from Big Dennis Kitchen. Today I decided to visit Kuku with China and then enjoy her food right as here. So I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the page and share the content right as here. Huh? We love you all. Bye bye. Subscribe, subscribe. Click the notification bell. More to come. Happy birthday, Papa! <laughs> Thank you so much for loving our food and recommending our channel to others. See you in our next video. Until then, bye for now.